Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have another One Piece reaction and review. This time it's chapter 1075 titled Labo Stratum Death Gate. So last chapter, absolutely crazy. We got introduced to the Mark III pacifistas. We got a little bit of a peek into like uh, Kuma's memories. Uh, we also obviously at the end we had Big News Morgans who also has uh, Vivi and Wapple with him. Wapple, I'm sorry. I, it was just crazy chapter, and so, but also everything going on here, or no, everything not going on here, I've realized has a, there's just so much stuff going on in the, like elsewhere in the world that hasn't really been, fully concluded yet. Like obviously now we have big news, Morgans and all them. That's something new, but we've also had everything with like, you know, Blackbeard having uh Kobe everything you know blackbeard versus law and how like pudding's there with them and blackbeard has pudding in his custody or whatever and so it's just it's just crazy right now but let's just get into it okay we have this is oh okay this is drum 66 cold blood voyage volume 31 granted an audience with the five elders due to scientific genius oh, that's not in my mouth that's <laughs> that's crazy i'm not like too especially surprised but it's still like wild obviously this actually makes sense because uh saint jay garcia saturn said he had met vega punk once before and we see him all the way to the left that's also something like how much are we going to be able to do at this in in egghead right now before kizaru and saint jay garcia saturn show up um come in pythagoras do you read me i heard a loud boom what was that pythag oh i forgot i completely forgot about this the huge explosion i think i actually missed this last chapter when i was doing the actual reading through it pythagoras please respond chaka's trying to get in contact with him has there been an incident? You weren't caught up in it, were you? Snow 12 building C. Check the surrounding area. Okay. What? What was that shadow? Did we... What? It looks like someone or something, like, covered up the... Or knocked down the snail or something. Or caused an explosion, maybe. Because it, it, like, reaches towards... I'm assuming that's the trans... Obviously, that's the transponder snail that um, Shock is looking through. And it, like, reaches up towards it, and it looks like it causes an explosion or something. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Uh, and obviously, the snail cuts out. The snail's been hit. What's up, Luffy? Hush. Hey, helmet guy. Oh, okay. He's talking to him through, like, the earpiece. Uh, hey, helmet guy. Something wrong with this thing? Everyone's voice is suddenly cut off. Cut off suddenly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Third floor, building A. Where are you, Vegapunk? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. This is Nami. I was getting confused because there was a heart at the end of it, but it's Nami. Precious gems. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hey, ain't you being a bit forward? Most just say they're pretty. <laughs> uh, there's no harm in it, right? Everyone's evacuating after all. <laughs> Brooke's just there along for the ride, it looks like. You're not wrong, but I still reckon you folks have uh, have got a screw loose. Oh, phew, this is heavy. Shall we head back? <laughs> and Nami just f completely filled her backpack with gems. We're supposed to be looking for Stella. Fine, I'll just leave them for now, but we better come back for this way later. We better come back this way later. She, I guess she's leaving them for now. I doubt she'll get them back. Uh, you know, th those diamonds are man-made. They're meant to be used for industrial purposes only. Well, you can make diamonds? What's with that look in your eyes? The future is really a place of dreams. Enough already. Stella, where are you? She has no berry eyes. Okay. Second floor, building A. Okay. Right. So, 
Oh, I remember the last chapter, they're splitting off into groups, but I thought everyone was going to be in one big group, but it looks like they're splitting off. So our first group, we have Nami, Brooke, and, oh my gosh, what's his name? The other... This is probably the, yeah, one of the only satellite I can't remember right now. Uh, but anyways, we're on to our next group on second floor building A. Is your face is like a mask. Yep, I can replace any any part of my body whenever I need. That's the future for you. Hmm, I wonder, are these Vegapunks? Those are main, wait, what? Okay, she's looking at some things like containers on the wall and Robin's saying those are man-made organoids that'll be dis indispensable for the doctors of the future. What, you can actually grow new organs? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I thought these were Vegabox organs and someone cut him to pieces. <laughs> oh, that's Robin saying that, of course. Okay, and then, yeah, Chopper's, Chopper's just loving it. <laughs> um... And then we're at the com command room, fourth floor, building A. Okay, so all these are in building A. What's going on? Hey, helmet guy. Edison, shock. Okay, that, yeah, that one was Edison. Yeah, okay, so the other group. Yeah, it's Nami, Brooke, Edison. Um, do you, so Edison, it's Shaka. Do you read me? I could hear everyone fine a second ago. I swear I didn't break it or knock it or anything. I think that's not it. Look at this. Okay, another transponder is now shutting down. The camera feeds. They keep going out one after another. Okay. There's someone else in the lab. Second floor building B, right side. I can't believe I get to travel the seas with you, Lady Stussy. You were at Big Mom's party, right? You can consider me your loyal dog. Just keep your eyes out for the stellies, for the stellus, at least. This part of the lab sure is huge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have Sanji, Stasi, and Jinbei in this group. <laughs> That's because we're on the weapons development floor. You wouldn't want any shockwaves setting things off down here. Okay. That's that's all we get from them. And then we have the third floor building C, left side. I, I'm not going to memorize where all these locations are, but... A bubble gun? Okay, so we have uh, Usopp, uh, York, Lilith, and Frankie. A bubble gun? That's right, it makes the strongest bubbles. They can bounce anything back. Why is Usopp so scared of that? <laughs> I'm sleepy. What kind of attack just bounces things back? Hey, Vegapunk. This looks bad. Okay, so they're walking up onto the explosion. Is this the aftermath of that explosion? Okay, yeah. Someone that, uh, there's Pythagoras. Hey, isn't that, it's Pythagoras. Okay. Hey, hang in there. Whoa, he's got no head. What? Okay. I mean, I was about to be nervous, but then it's like, okay, he's kind of a robot. I don't think it's that. <laughs> oh, Frankie says, that's gory. Don't tell me it was blown off. The boom, that big boom we heard earlier was because of this. Oh, okay, we see someone's footsteps coming up. Whoa, who's there? Hey, do, okay, never mind. That's just Pythagoras's head. Hey, don't shoot. It's me, Pythagoras, or his head anyway. What happened? Some kind of accident? No, this looks like an attack. <laughs> it was the darndest thing. It'll sound impossible, but I know my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. Hurry up and tell us. Okay. I'm forced to wonder if we made a, a grave miscalculation. Oh, where's York? <laughs> oh, didn't Edison... Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's not good. I <laughs> oh, didn't Edison order you to hold your horses? You, you should really still be waiting out there, even though you're so cute. Okay, and that's... Yeah, that's the uh, S-Snake. And, yeah, you'll get away from her. Love, love, mellow. Okay, yeah. I also, wait, did we know she had a devil fruit before? I think we assumed that. I don't know if we've seen it in action, but, okay, yeah, so the Seraphim are already, but, okay, if the Seraphim are already betraying on them, does that mean Kizaru and 
Saint J are already here. Okay, yep, and York turns this down and falls over. What a seraphim, why are you here? <laughs> Usopp's freaking out still. Uh, you shouldn't be able to move on your own. I command you to stop. Okay, and she just shoots a laser at them, causing an explosion. Something's off here. Didn't they realize we're Vegapunk? I know, they're not accepting our orders. Okay, yeah, St. J. Garcia has to already be here. Sonova? Wait, what? Oh, just Sonova. <laughs> uh, didn't see this twice coming. Should I return fire? Freaking Frankie's look. Okay, wait. Frankie's looking up, and then... That little girl's... Shaka. Shaka responded. It's no good. We can't reach them. Quit joking around. We won't stand a chance in a fight. We designed them to be the most powerful beings around. Okay. So now we're going to command room building A. Give me a hand, Luffy. What's up, Zoro? Uh, okay. What, you? Yep. Oh, it's I just saw Esper. It's both S-Hawk and Esper. Stop this immediately. Who ordered you to move? Good, you can stop them, right? They were gunning for CP0. Wait, what? Letting them die in cuffs would leave a bad taste in my mouth. They were gunning for CP0. I wonder if... I don't know. Maybe St. J just wanted to eliminate that. Also, I'm just going to call him St. J. I don't know. I don't know. I think people are mostly concerned about the part of the Saturn part of his name. So maybe I'll just call him Saturn or St. Saturn or something like that. I don't know. Uh, letting him them... But, okay, wait, no. I need to finish my thought. Maybe St. Saturn actually ordered them to kill CP0 because CP0 didn't accomplish their goal. Now, uh, letting them die in cuffs would leave a bad taste in my mouth. Okay. I guess Zoro wants to kill him himself, but he could have done that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then S. Bear just causes a massive explosion and S. Hawk... <laughs> It creates a huge slash. If they won't take my orders, uh, they, then they must already be acting on a command issued by a Vegapunk. What? In between the communications blackout and the barrier sealing us in, this is beginning to seem like an elaborate plan. Somebody's trying to kill us all. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who it could be, but they want us dead. Those no good seraphim scrams. Okay, this is Luchi and Kaku getting up. Hey, Straw Hat, Roanoa. How about we let bygones be bygones for now? We could form a temporary alliance. The two of us would be, would be much more useful out of these cuffs. <laughs> they look disgusting. Yeah, they don't want to let them out. They definitely don't want to team up with them, but I don't know. That might be cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, this definitely wasn't as intense of a chapter as last time. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it was worse. But, like, in terms of reveals, it was, it's just sort of a fun chapter. Somebody's... Somebody's taking down the, resp the transponder snails. Uh, I'm looking at the shadow right now, and I can't tell who it is. Uh, I, cause, I don't know, it might just be one of the Seraphims, but, I don't know. Um, yeah, and everyone's split up, obviously, so I'm sure everyone's gonna, you know, get their own separate fights. But again, since Shaka was saying that... He said, okay, someone here is trying to kill us. He's, like, implying that it's not an issue from St. Saturn or someone new, right? Obviously, it could just be that he doesn't know that they're here, but I sort of feel like you know, Oda's setting it up this way on purpose, and there is someone who's, like, betraying them, which I, I don't know who it would be. But that means that all this crap is going down and then and then 
Kizaru and Saint Saturn will show up, just causing even more chaos. So I don't know how much we're going to be able to do before they show up. Yeah, I don't know. And I, I feel like, I don't know if we can hold our own against all the Seraphim. Actually, no, okay, we can hold our own at least. I don't know if we can, like, beat them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out who it would be. Who would betray him? I'm, like, I'm assuming it's trying to imply that it's one of the, one of the satellites, but it's, like, how am I supposed to figure that out? Hmm. Okay, so right now we have, uh, Frankie, Usopp, Lilith, and Pythagoras up against a snake right now. We have Luffy, Zoro, Shaka, which Shaka actually, right here, it looks like he's getting ready to fight. I should have assumed that he could fight, but I don't know. I'm curious how he fights. But they're all going against S-Bear and s -Hop. And then, obviously, Kaku and Luchi are getting up. I'm assuming they're going to bring... Uh, Luffy and Zoro will begrudgingly team up with them. That just seems like where it's going. And then, I don't think... The, uh, our other group with Robin and Chopper I don't think they I don't yeah they didn't encounter oh and I guess Sanji, Stessie, and Jinbei didn't encounter anyone they probably will soon and those will probably be our fights yeah, actually I just realized we have S-Hawk in the going against Zoro obviously it's you know the whole group but could be fun to see some Zoro versus, like, oh, I was about to say, like, it's like Zoro versus Mihawk, but R Zoro versus weaker Mihawk. But at the same time, I don't know how how it's all going to play out. Because it's like, yeah, it's a child version of Mihawk, but it's also, you know, mixed with Lun Lunarian DNA. And it also has a bunch of other technology built into it. So... I don't know. Would it be as strong as Mihawk? I, I'm i going to assume that's not as strong as Mihawk. Just because I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I shouldn't even think about power scaling right now. But it's just like, I don't want... I want... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what my thoughts are on this right now. It's going to be fun to see. That's, those are my thoughts. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to talk about for this chapter. Because it, it's not like any crazy reveals. And it's, it's nice not to get so many crazy reveals. Obviously, for the cover story, we get to see, you know, Vegapunk gets to meet with the Gorosei for his, for his scientific uh, achievements and stuff like that. I don't know if there's going to be, like, next chapter, there's going to be something that actually, you know, happens with the cover story and there's actually something significant with Vegapunk being with the Gorosei or if it's just sort of like, yeah, they... Because this, this is before he joined the world government, right? So it's, it's just going to be like, oh, yeah, now he teams up with the world government. Or if there will be some bigger reveals. I don't know where this cover story is. Obviously, this cover story is just sort of like... It's, it's not about Germa 66 anymore at all. They're just sort of revealing a lot of things along the way. And a lot of it has been important before. Like, everything with, like, Kizaru showing up on... I think it was Kakao Island or something. Yeah, all, all that stuff, obviously significant. But now... I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. That's pretty much all I have to say on this chapter. Good, fun chapter. Refreshing for, like, not having as many of those big reveals as last chapter where I'm just completely confused. Obviously, there's still more questions. They still brought up more questions than answered questions. But, I don't know. 
good chapter. Uh, if you like the video, please comment. I love seeing comments. And, I'll, and remember to save the bobfish. And I'll see you guys next time.